This patient presented with some interesting transillumination defects of the iris. On dilation, the patient was noted to have a square-edged hydrophobic acrylic intraocular lens in the sulcus. This uh, intraocular lens is contraindicated for placement in the sulcus, and therefore the patient was taken to the operating room with a plan to exchange the intraocular lens. However, um, intraoperatively, uh, I was able to uh, separate out um, and the anterior and posterior leaflets of the capsule, as seen here. Uh, once this was achieved, it was then possible to reopen uh, the entire uh, capsule and place the intraocular lens uh, then back into uh, the capsular bag. So even though this patient's original surgery was a year prior, it was still possible to reposition this intraocular lens into the capsular bag and do so through two paracentesis incisions.